I mean, Chester, you were saying earlier that you guys have watched each other's careers from a young age, school, club rugby, mm. etc. I mean, that must have been quite, quite an experience. And I mean, I'm sure you get asked this a lot, but you, I mean, you were probably also real pioneers, you know, being some of the first black yes. players to represent your provinces and, and yep. Springboks. Yes, I mean, as uh, we spoke about earlier, you know, I played with him at school level and the 13 and then we went uh, and then 18 for the Western Province League game week in, mm. in Port Elizabeth where we almost beat in the French, uh, for the free state team with Ruben Kruger and all the big names there, Einer Force. And then uh, we played for the French Force together because we went in the army work mm. because, you know, we had to go and work for our brothers and our sisters. It was not enough money. Mm. So we had to look after them as well. And then we became, we played for Western Province together as well, you know, 1992, 93, mm. and until we became the Springboks in 1993 with the touring to Australia. And then, you know, he played then for, as I said, 112 games for Western Province. I myself continued to play Western Province. I was injured for two years. He continued his, game, I mean, his mm. career playing for them. But whenever I'm back, we were playing <coughs> together as, a, as, as teammates in a team. And he's really a good man, teammate to be with, you know, trustworthy and... And also, he was a calm person, but um, but also very aggressive when he's on the field. So, mm. that, I mean, that's the way the game should be played. And um, but the pe the players loved him, you know, because mm. he was a joker in the team. You know, when when we sit on the bus or you know, we fly to Australia or New Zealand, sit on the airports, he's the one that entertain everybody because he remembered all the 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 what happened on tour. You know. Mm. Uh, when we went out in the nightclubs and things like <laughs> that, you know, he didn't remember that, you know. So it was great, you know, and when it, whenever I want to, uh, whenever I go and do a speech, and I'm not good at remembering, you know, things, these things mm. that happen on tour or, and, uh, or these jokes, I always phone him, listen, hey, what joke can I write down, can I write down just to make mm. sure when I do my talk, I want to say something about the tour that is fun, and he will give it to me. Yeah. Jessa, and now what kind of a legacy do you believe that tennis has left uh, in the rugby fraternity? What, what, what have South African rugby players learned from him? As we all probably know, you know the term terminator he, he was, you know, mm -hmm. the defender, the, the tackler. Um, that's the uh, rugby wise, that's what he's left behind for, 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 for most rugby people. Mm -hmm. they, that's all they can remember of him, the world remember of him. And then, as an as individual, I think he was he had integrity. He was a calm, uh, collective, and very um, assertive person, mm. and and someone that you can believe and trust. You know, when you when you tell him to ask him something to do, and he say yes to you, you can be sure he will will do it for you or will get it for you. 